in health, uh, the patient is left at the center of a sometimes disconnected ecosystem to try to figure out how to navigate on their own, what's, what's uh, going on with them, how they can get better, how they can heal, uh, what are the resources and information available. And so through human-centered design and design thinking, we can have a process where we can invite the patient into the design process and understand what are their real needs, what's going on with them, uh, help them get from point A to point B, and include them in the process of designing a solution that will work for them uh, in mobile, but also across all channels uh, so that they can get to the outcomes that they're looking for. The main characteristics of human-centered design and uh, design thinking is to get all of the key stakeholders in the same room, an interdisciplinary team of business people, technologists, clinicians, and the end patients themselves. Uh, so we invite everyone to the table of inner innovation. We're not innovating in a, in a vacuum. Uh, one other key component is research. Uh, doing research where people live, where people work, observing what is going on, what are the key problems, uh, and what are the opportunities. Uh, because sometimes the pathway we're heading down and we think this is the right solution, when we get into the, the field and see what's really going on, it just so happens that might not be the best solution. So research is a big component. And then inviting everybody into the process and using um, ideation methods that involve uh, quick sketching, uh, quick uh, scenario building, so that we can start to build ideas that everyone agrees with and then test them with the end audience. Uh, and iterate through that. So it is collaborative, it's inclusive, and it's iterative. And where we focus too is not just uh, creating things that have a good go-to-market strategy and are easy to monetize, et cetera, et cetera. We focus on purpose-driven design. So making sure that our efforts are focused on providing real value in the lives of the people we're serving. And that can be patients, it can be employees, it can be doctors and partners. And of course we want to provide good financial return and business results, but we also want to make sure that we're not monetizing sickness and we're actually getting people to better outcomes. I think a lot about the difference between the United States and, and Europe. I think in the US we look at Europe and we say, oh, they're single payer. That must be wonderful. They must have it all figured out. But in Europe, uh, facing the same problems of moving to value-based care, funding innovation, uh, getting uh, and making sure that patients are using the electronic medical record and engaging with the population health management tools we're creating. So in Europe, they're facing these problems. We're facing those problems in the U.S. as well. I think Europe looks at the U.S. and say, oh, wow, you know, with the Accountable Care Act, you know, they have it all figured out. Well, we don't. We're struggling to uh, move in the direction of value-based care as well. And no matter who's paying for the health care, the large organizations who are creating the systems and the policies and the processes, um, they struggle to disrupt themselves and get out of their own way. Uh, and that's why uh, startups and uh, entrepreneurship is incredibly valuable because uh, a startup can have a viewpoint and pursue a method that works better that the large corporation or, or government organization just couldn't have come up with on their own. And so creating bridges between uh, startups and large organizations, corporations, government is essential. It's, it's really valuable for me to be here to see what is going on around the world in mobile health and what are the innovations that are happening so that we can take that back to our work uh, we do work globally uh, with uh, hospital systems, uh, you know, healthcare providers, insurance companies. Uh, we work with pharmaceutical and medical devices and life sciences companies. And so we really want to know what's happening four years from now uh, so that we can bring that back to our work here. Uh, I also want to build our network of collaborators because uh, we want to learn from each other. 